This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so I'm coming to the new instance now. So this is shutting down. That is okay, fine. Now I go with the launch instance now. And better you take uh, Windows latest version. 2022 base. This one is better. This one is better. Hi, Nagbabu. Hey, Nagbabu. Good morning. Hi, sir. Good morning, sir. Sir, you came to Hyderabad? Uh, now I'm on the way, sir. Yeah, yeah, you can you can come down, sir, and we will talk. Oh, sure, sir. Yes, yes. Okay, let me start with this. I'll, I'll go with the uh, free tier eligible one. Then review and launch. You can review and launch. Then this is okay, fine. And click on the launch button. Now, better you can choose the key value pair, create a new key value pair. And this key value pair, something like uh, uh, Sri or Sri Lanka or Sri. Sri is my key pair pair. And download key pair. That key pair is going to be downloading on top of desktop. Wherever you want, you can download it. Click on save button. Now launch instances. See, this is very important to create instance. And view instance. View instance. Now my, my instance is getting generating. Can you see this pending pending status? You can see this pending status. My instance is getting downward. So wait for a few minutes for this. What you have to do is click on get password. Just go to get password. One thing you have to get. We need to browse the path, browse the keyword. So what is the key wallet we created? Three. The name is three. Three dot C E R. Select that option and click on open button. Click on open button. And then you have to decrypt the password. Okay, so password decrypted. Important thing is you need to copy the password. Copy the password. Copy it. And store somewhere in the notes. Open the notes. And store your password somewhere here. This is your password. This is your password. Okay, this password is very important for later. Now, immediate thing is remote desktop file. Download remote desktop file. Just download it. On top of a desktop, you have to save it. Immediately, the thing is launched. And this is the mediator. This is the glue point which is going to be communicating between 
your operating system with administrator password giving password over there so password click on continue button and click on continue again click on continue again and now my instance is getting launched wait for two minutes guys this operating system is getting ready this operating system is getting ready okay you can see the you can see the window this window is a windows operating system now what my requirement is i need to create one active directory whenever you want to create an active directory go to the windows button and go to server manager go to server manager this is the option which is going to be launching the server manager from server manager only from server manager only we need to launch our active directory from server manager only we need to launch our active directory okay so wait for few minutes this is getting launching and you can see the option loading option you can see an option loading option okay so services are getting ready local server getting ready all servers are getting ready okay so server manager dashboard getting ready we have dashboard we have local server we have all servers we have file and storage services fine now immediate thing is you need to go to add roles and features click on add roles and features click on next button click on next button click on next button and very important thing you have to choose active directory domain services you have to choose active directory domain services now now click on next button select this option click on next button add features click on next click on next click on restart the destination server automatically if required yes click on this next click on install button okay this will take few minutes to you wait for it
Okay, so installation succeeded. Then click on close button. Now you'll be having Active Directory installed. ADDS. ADDS. Active Directory got installed. And then immediately what you have to do is go to the yellow color option and click on promote the server for the domain controller. And this is getting installing. Wait for a few minutes. Add a new forest. Click on add a new forest. Domain name test.com. Test.com. And click on next button. Now, a password is important. Whatever the password you want, you can give. Okay, so I'm giving some confidential password. Next, click on next button. Click on next. Now BIOS is getting generating for us. Click on next. Click on next. Click on next. Now prerequisites checking. Number of prerequisites checking. Wait for a few minutes. Okay, now click on install. Active Directory Domain Services configuring. So you have to wait for a few more minutes. Why? Because of installation is running. Okay, so you are about to sign out. This is getting restarting for us. Okay, so whenever it is going to be exit, uh, one more time you have to go for the new remote desktop. Quit your remote desktop. Delete your remote desktop from your system. 
and again i need to launch new download remote desktop file on top of desktop again now launch it Okay, unable to connect okay remote pc make sure that okay, fine i just want to delete everything maybe something is running from that go to bed i don't have any remote desktop files okay now let me go to the new remote desktop file go to ec2 Go to instances and check the instance. Refresh and select it. Click on connect option. Go to RDB client and download remote desktop file on top of desktop. Now we downloaded remote desktop file. Launch it. Password. Show password. Click on continue. Click on continue. Yes, I got my windows open. Again, we reconnected our remote desktop file. Now we already in Active Directory. Active Directory already ready. Forest also ready. Now let me go to the one more option: Windows Administrative option. Windows Administrative Tools. okay and here i need to go with the active directory users and computers double click on this now go to the test.com and go to the users and users there are multiple users which are already available now i need to create a new user over there right click on this go to new go to user and user whatever the user you want you can give your user sr srg first name last name important and uh, login name SRG login name SRG and click on next click on next password it is asking let me give the password okay so one more thing this check mark URL is Add another check mark. User can't change the password. And click on next again. Now you can see one user got created. And finally, this is the way of creating users. So we created Active Directory. We created a user. The next thing is we need to copy paste. We need to copy paste our ping federate software and java jdk let me go to that
and ping federate and java jdk both you can copy here copy two items paste in your operating system Paste. Sir, so this will take a uh, half an hour to 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes. Okay. So once I done with this uh, software ready, and we will continue the work on Ping Federate. And tomorrow I'll show completely Ping Federate, how to connect with Ping Federate, and a lot of options we can see in the next class. So you people can uh, quit. Uh, Prashant Rao, you can quit now uh, because this will take 30 to 40 minutes. I make it copy for this. And tomorrow onwards, I will start with the pink pattern. There is no installation installation classes. I already done with the installation classes. There is no other installation classes for the week. You can quit, uh, Prashant Rao. Thank you. Thank sir, you for please, attending. Sir, please, can you yeah. share me this video, sir? Yes, yes, I will share. You can just ping me hi. I will share this. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Thanks.